All right, guys, so I'm hoping that this will help somebody. This house is nowhere near perfectly level on the foundation or my soffit on any corner. It's very, I think there's two corners that make the same dimension from our reference line on all five corners. So specifically, this wall is 40 foot long from this corner to that corner. I'm three quarters of an inch difference. Now, that's not that bad, right? Because I'm 40 foot. I've got to basically adjust my siding at three quarters. Now you might be saying, well, Kyle, why don't you just overhang it three quarters so it looks like it's good? Well, my problem is I've got windows that are fairly low over there on that end. And what I wanna make sure is that even though the siding might not be perfectly level, I want it to look good and look level. Nobody's gonna drive by, nobody's gonna come put their eight foot stabila on my siding to double check to make sure it's level. I want everything to look clean. I've got a window that's gonna be right here. I want my siding to come up and be the exact same dimension underneath and up above. So what that means, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my calculator on 40 foot, and I, don't, I haven't done this yet, so I'm still thinking through how my math is gonna work. I'm gonna divide zero inch three quarter divided by 40 feet. So it's .001563, and if I put that into inches, I don't know how I can even do that. Regardless, .0015, we're just gonna round it off, we're gonna cut that six, and we're gonna go .0015. So what I need to do, that is my percent of slope that I need to equate on this first one based off of my reference lines in order to, well, you know what? I'm probably talking way too much. What I'm trying to figure out is, I've already got these trims around this door, so I can't just snap a line. The easiest thing to do would be for my first couple runs, just snap a quarter inch line difference from that end to this end, so they're just kinda kinda, you know, if I've got this piece of trim, it's just gonna, and this is extreme, but it's just gonna kinda go and it's gonna level out as I get up a couple sheets, and then when I get close to my soffit, or I get close to my doors, windows, any, wall penetration, I can adjust it as I'm going up just ever so slightly, but as long as it's laser straight, nobody will see a quarter inch in 40 feet. I am actually more confused now than when I started this conversation. Let me think about this. I know what I was doing. That .0015, right? That's my percent of slope. So here's what I'm gonna do. I already know this is 152 and a quarter. So for this section, in order to maintain the right slope to get down there exactly where I wanna be, I'm gonna take 152 and a quarter, and I'm gonna multiply that times .00156. So it's a quarter inch. In this section right here, I need to be a quarter inch different than my trim. I'm gonna come over here, I'm 22, 21 and three quarters. I need to come over here and I need to be 22 inches. So at this point on the wall, based on that percent of slope, I can determine that, uh, oh my God, Greg, I just had the greatest idea. I could actually set the rotary laser up with slope to be exactly perfect from this end to this end and we could set it with the receiver exactly with the 350 rotary from Stabila. Should we try that? Let's do it. All right, let's do that. Let's stop doing math, let's stop trying to figure it out. Let's just set a laser up that is accurate within like a mile or something within, you know, it's gonna be perfect, let's do that. All right, so since we just got done confusing everybody, including myself, we're gonna get real simple and yes, this costs money to buy, but for us, we use it all the time. And if you're a contractor uh, that does outdoor work, decks, buildings, really anything, I think a rotary laser is super important. You got two axes, axes on a laser, an X and a Y. I'm going to be running a slope down this wall to try to match the bottoms of my trims from end to end so that I can get that first course perfect and I can't snap a line through. So I turned the laser on and I've got my I'm gonna, I turn this off so nobody's dogs start barking. And I've marked right on my trim where the laser is, okay? I did that pre-mark before you guys showed up here to this party. And I did the same thing on that corner so that I have a reference line. So let's go down here and take a look at what we have. So I, I did the same thing down here and I made a mark where the line of the laser right now at perfectly level is. 
it's one inch difference actually from this end to that end. What I can do is take the receiver, put it on my mark that I want it to be where I wish it was, so I wish this was perfect, and it's gonna be one inch different. So come over here, Greg, and watch this. So you can see in here, hopefully, we've got two marks. Right here, we got this mark, which is where the laser is gonna be perfect, and then this is exactly where I wish it would have been to be perfect with the bottom of my trim. So I'm gonna take this receiver and I'm gonna put it right on that mark. Now, the receiver's telling me I am an inch off. Now I take this remote for the laser and I'm gonna rotate it to slope the axis this way so this is right perfect zero where I want it to be. Okay, that's the wrong way, we gotta go this way. Okay, boom, so look at that. Now we've got our solid line at our new mark, which is where we wanted to be initially, which means I can take this receiver now anywhere on this wall and it acts like a snap line that I couldn't do because of this dumb trim. If I would have thought ahead, I could have avoided this, but now it's gonna give me a sloped perfect line from that corner to this corner exactly where I want it. Now you might be saying, what does that do for you, Kyle? Well, it starts off my first course of siding perfectly and then what I can do because this is so cool I can come back down here and I can rotate that laser the y-axis back up a quarter inch at a time and it's going to give me a perfect slope line to run those first four courses uh, and get back up to, to level and then I can go up from there so hopefully that helped it's going to help us it's a little bit of setup time it wouldn't have been that hard if I wouldn't have done this long story uh, we just get it out and start working so let's start putting some siding up. I got my siding gauge here. Um, so you're gonna see that orange line. A little bit. Are you good on your gap? Uh, check with my siding pool. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. One would say money. Up a little. Up a little. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and adjust our grade. We'll snap new lines, and we'll just keep doing that for the next couple. Uh, what, are, what, are, what are we gonna do? What's our difference? We're gonna go a quarter, we're gonna go an eighth. We well, I'm gonna do a quarter on the whole thing. So wait, while we have it set up, don't, shouldn't we run? Didn't we already snap our line? As long as we snap our line, dude, it don't matter. You see what I'm saying? Is literally now. Oh, then we just make a new snap line. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. So our reference line, is sloped perfectly, right? Exactly what we want. All we want to do now is put our piece of siding up like we did last time with the exact reveal we wanted, right? Gotcha. So if we put this guy up here, and let's just say that's our reveal we wanted, right? Right. I want to be a quarter inch lower than that with my new snap line, right? Right. So I'm gonna come up here, I'm just gonna burn 10 inches so I'm nice and perfect. And here I am nine, nine and three sixteenths. Okay. So now I can re-snap lines at nine and three sixteenths from my reference line. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, yep. And then we should be at an inch down here. An inch? Well, our, our normal, normal reveal down over here. Yes, okay, yes. So this is a little bit of a pain, but Next time we'll learn and we'll snap our lines before we put trims. Good? Yep. Okay. Hmm. That line gets better with age, I'd say. Look at that sucker. So in theory, we should be about level with our level line then. Well, we've gone up three quarters. This is going to be up going up three quarters, which would put us we'll be level. very close. Good? Yep. Man, that's a good snap line. <laughs> so after this, our next line is good. And then we can use that reference line the rest of the build to make sure we're perfect. All right, siding, let's do it. So does that make sense for anybody out there what we have done? We use the rotary laser with slope to make sure that we've got a perfect consistent slope line and then we adjusted it every run by a quarter inch because we can't snap through these darn walk doors that we got behind us. So if you have a straight wall with nothing in the way, all you really have to do is find your perfect laser reference line 
and then just snap a line a quarter inch difference. Just wasn't in the cards for us on this one. We messed up and put those trims on a little bit too early. My way? Yeah? I need my... I should have hearing protection on, Greg. What? Now this is only half the battle, Greg, because this brings it back to level. Yeah. Now we have to adjust for windows and soffit. When we get them. When we get to them. So I get about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven nails before that little tiny compressor kicks on. Starts to kick on, yeah. You don't even hear it. That's what's no. great about it. Yeah. No roofers are going to use it, but no, it's good enough for the girls I run with. All right, great news, guys. Just went to lunch, and while we were on lunch, I got a phone call from my supplier. The windows for the house behind me came in, and they're on their way over to deliver them, so that means we can finally, and it's a gorgeous day today, we can finally open up these window the plywood over the window openings, get everything prepped for windows, because hopefully my goal is probably about one o'clock. Um, yeah, just about one o'clock. My hope is that we can get all these windows installed. Check it out, windows just showed up and it's Friday, so they hit their goal, they made it when they thought they would, actually a little bit earlier than I anticipated, so we actually have a couple hours today left, and we've got holes opening up. We're gonna start putting these windows in, but first we got to, router out or cut out all the plywood because we covered the window holes so Greg wouldn't get taken advantage of or nobody stole anything from him with just house wrap going over an empty hole. We gotta take back these flaps and they're flapping around everywhere. This piece of tape right here, I think it's ingenious because so many times I've done remodeling work, done something like this, and all the garbage went right behind my house wrap and would have ruined all of this. Now, that tape protects it. We can sweep it, clean it, vacuum it, whatever, and wrap our uh, jam over, or this house wrap in, and we're good to go. What up? Where are we going? Oh, no. Yeah, buddy. All right, Greg, you got the window. Let me get the levels act. We'll do the same thing. Hold that, Greg, the middle. Hold it right there, man. Okay? Hey, Greg, take it this way a little bit. Uh, a little more. Uh, uh, too much. Yeah, hold that. Okay. Dude, look how bright the windows are. Actually, not gonna lie, I think they're not as bright. No, it's because they have screens on them. You know what? I'll just take them out, dude, if you're not gonna be appreciative. You don't treat me no good no more. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's, that's Jared Neiman. Yeah, I know who Jared Neiman is. Do you, though? Yeah. Oh, lover, lover, lover. You don't treat me no good no more. Hey, treat me good no more. Lover, lover, lover. You don't treat me no good no more. I just wanna rolly, rolly, rolly with a dead wrench. Oh yeah, good, huh? Got room, okay. I like it. You got it? I like it when you do it right there. I like the way you do it right there, right there. You hit the, you hit the top? I think there's a couple of nails up there that I'd like to hit. Looks I like there's. Ooh. Let's watch the caulk. So you hit, you hit the corner, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Are you are you even side to side? Right there. Oh no 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 no! This side's way high. Yeah, I'm talking about side to side even, Greg. I hope you're nothing but happy, Greg. I don't know about you guys, but I am happy. Greg's happy. This is looking really good. I can't wait to trim these out with some smart side and then start putting siding up around them because all this white is gonna be super clean 
and I can't wait for you guys to hang around hopefully and see it happen. So make sure you've already hit that subscribe button, notification bell, turn that sucker on and uh, give me a big thumbs up. Remember, that's what these boys are working for today. They're working for thumbs up, sure. not dollar bills. Wait, what? I'll take the mailer. That'd be awesome. I think all those thumbs up you're getting right now, dude, you're earning you're earning those thumbs. <laughs> yeah. Everybody give Zach a thumbs up right now for being the man. Hey, here, I want to help you. Help hey, give me. him some thumbs down him. now. <laughs> you on your pencil? Zach had that level right there. Thumbs up your way, dude. Thank you. Are you good side to side? Perfectly level. Don't worry, I can't hear what he's saying either. Oh, that is perfect. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up for that perfect window install, guys. That like oh. Dang, Greg, your house is gonna be fresh, fresh. Good present for you. Good, I'll take them. Everybody, smash that like button for Zach. He just brought. Look at that. He filled up my pouch with nails. What a guy. Greg, your house is gonna be so airtight now. We should do an ACH blower test on it. You know, I know it sounds like a simple tip. But when you're installing a window, especially a vinyl window, down here on the bottom, got these little slats, slots, whatever. They're like a little uh, door, and that door lets your water out. So uh, you wanna make sure that when you install the window, that these little weep holes are on the bottom of your window. I know it seems pretty self-explanatory, but even, even sometimes, uh, an experienced window installer puts a window in upside down so that's my sign I've gone off the stickers before and in the factory they got flipped upside down or whatever and I installed a bunch of windows upside down not thinking because I just looked at the stickers so maybe that'll help somebody you all good so today's Saturday and I wanted to use today to do a little catch up I really wanted all these windows in by the end of Friday and we failed to get the big windows in um, not because we were saving the biggest for the last, but really because at the end of the day, this is where the sun is. And now it's after lunch. Had a football game this morning, but got Chloe out this morning to help me do some painting on the foundation. And now Greg is back, and we're gonna try to get these windows in around this front. So let's get right into it, because it's Saturday, and you can't work all the time. You gotta have a little fun, too. about not taping the bottom of your window. It is hot out here on this Saturday morning, and we're in like the direct sun. I don't know why I do this to myself. We should have uh, probably done this like super early in the morning when I was painting, because that's not that labor intensive, and then came over and did this other one, but it's a lot of glass. It's gonna look nice with those matching windows on each corner. Once it gets all trimmed and done, it's gonna look really good. I think the, I would say the common theme here is, this is gonna be really nice once it's all done, and uh, just going through a lot of work to get there. 
Well, I don't even know if that was just recording or if I turned it off, but we got the last big window in, which completes all of the windows, which means now we're ready to start trimming the windows and getting all the LP smart side up. So I'm pumped. I know Greg is because his house is, no, well, it's his house that he lives in, but it's actually my house. No longer looks like such a dungeon and there's some actual natural daylight in. Now something I want to point out that you guys won't know on the YouTube as much unless you follow me on Instagram. You see this window here, actually all these windows, I tape the bottoms. Now the way I was always taught was you install your window and you tape around the outside on the flange. Well I think in recent years especially where building science is becoming such a big deal, uh, this bottom should not be taped. It should not be caulked or anything. Um, and I, did, I didn't really know a whole lot about that, but thankfully Instagram is a great place to learn. And so with Instagram, I was told by about 500 people on my DMs that you should never tape the bottom flange. I did some more research. Some people pointed me in some, to some, into some good resources, which you think I would already know being a good buddy with Matt Reisinger, who is such a building science expert. These big windows I did, uh, we did not tape the bottom flange. We didn't caulk the bottom flange. We basically rolled tape up on the sill, then installed the window with a bead of sealant around the perimeter, the three sides, put the top flap over, and uh, maybe that's worthy of a, a, an updated video, something that is current to what we're doing now. I don't know if that's interesting or if it's helpful for anybody to explain that. I'll definitely do it, but if not, there's a lot of resources out there. So what I'm gonna do on these windows, I already did it on a couple, is I'm just carefully slitting the tape back um, where that nail fin that nail fin is so that the tape is not sealed across and this stuff sticks so good that it is adhered to the bottom house wrap and the bottom sill tape. So if any water does get there, it'll at least have a place to weep out and I appreciate learning. Uh, that's why I post a lot of content is by showing my process, people can pick it apart which they do and because uh, I'm not perfect and I can learn and get better as well as share my tips and tricks for people to get better. So thanks for sticking around for this set of videos and hopefully we get into some awesome LP siding installation next. So make sure you've hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos and smash that thumbs up button because you know how much that makes you feel good. So we'll see you guys on the next video, thanks.